Hey guys, welcome back to my minoxidil journey. I'm on week 10. I can't believe it's already two and a half months and I've been faithful day and night applying this product to my face and to my hair. Um, I must say that I do prefer the foam over the liquid. I find that it doesn't dry out my skin um, at all. Now, this week I'm a little bit dysphoric about my hair because I just got a really short haircut last night because we're going on vacation tomorrow and um, I don't know you guys can be the judge of uh, what you see on my hair but you know cutting my hair really short and seeing my scalp makes me feel a little weird and I want to say that that scrub that I made last week was really good the next day even my hair just felt so much thicker so I'm going to continue to use that scrub once a week and to remind you of what's in it, it is uh, cinnamon powder, apple cider vinegar, rose water, lavender oil, uh, peppermint oil, cedarwood oil, and vetiver oil. Vetiver, now that's weird, right? V-E-T-I-V-E-R. I don't know. Anyway, so um, yeah, you guys, I mean, it burned. It did. Ooh. It is burning my face. I mean, if you have really, really sensitive skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but um, the results were really, really, really cool. All right, so here's a close-up of what's going on on my face. Um, I do see a lot more growth here. I think it's really starting to fill in. I see some vellus hairs actually in the middle, little blonde hairs. More under here, and if I really look closely, um, I can see that this is connecting and this is connecting here. The sides are filling in nicely. What I don't like is, um, and I can tell the difference between a pimple and an ingrown hair because I have this magnifying mirror that's just woo. So um, this right here is definite ingrown hair. Don't know how to get rid of it. These, this one right here and this, these two ingrown hairs because I see the hairs right inside of there so I don't know what to do with it I think my uh, mustache is getting thicker growing all the way up to my nose and uh, unfortunately nose hair grows really fast I don't know if this is the result of minoxidil or not but I have to really take care of that um, on a regular basis so let me show you the top of my head. All right, so this is the top of my head. Like I said, I just got a haircut, so I shaved it down really tight. Um, so that kind of makes me a little bit dysphoric here, but I think still seeing some good cover, some good growth, um, really good growth up in here. Where they say it's not even supposed to work up here. They say only put it on the crown of your head, but I mean, I was like really balding, like right up in here. And I think that's looking really good. So I don't know. We'll see how it looks next week once the hair grows in a little bit more. All right, guys. So remember, keep your boar's hair brush hair handy. But I can speak. Keep your boar's hair blur. <laughs> All right, guys. Keep your boar's hair brush handy. It doesn't pull out your hair like regular brushes do. So I would keep that handy. And also apply some Tiger's beard butter moisturizes all the way down to your skin it doesn't clog your pores and it makes your beard feel really really soft so all right that's all i have for you guys this week i'll talk to you next week bye